Hello everybody, CluelessCake76 here, and today I'm going to be showing you five new cards in the fifth card showcase. And uh, the reason why I haven't uh, been uploading is because I've been a bit lazy, and also I hit creative block for a bit, so that's why. I had an update on the previous card you saw, the Time Warrior, or you might have seen all three cards in there. There was three cards in there, the Time Warrior, the Fish thing, and the Steampunk guy. Uh, they are not going to be in the card game. That was just because it was out of idea, so it's remaking old cards, and yeah. So today, I do have, though, five cards that will be added to the game. So let's just get started by showing you the first card. So the first card is Gem Spear Grus. It's two costs uncommon with 1,400 attack and 1,500 defense. It's number 30, and it reads, this card gains 100 attack for each card in the graveyard. 600 max, so it's pretty good. Uh, just because you can get like a two cost uh, just for 2,000 attack, which is decent, and that way you can just play them. And also the art, I really like this guy's art, uh, even though his head it shows like not the weapon whatsoever. But I mean, what are you gonna do about it? Death Miner, which is a two cost, and it's 1,500 attack and 1,100 attack. This is a very very good card. It's common though. I don't know why I made it common, but yes, it's the common is number 31, and this reads, draw one card when this uh, card is played. So, this is just a 10 times better version of this, the Parasakai, which is the little one where you have to draw one card, but then you have to destroy this creature. So you're basically paying to draw a card. This one, you don't even have to pay, but it is, uh, it is a two cost creature, so it's kind of similar but this one's a bit better because you get to keep your creature and you draw one so yeah I'm glad I made the cost uh, that the bounce it the next card is totem of evil so I haven't uh, made a new type in a while and this is kind of the status effect right here it's poison uh, I don't know if I'll be doing any more of these cards but for now this is like the only one and eventually I might remove that, I don't know. But basically, it's it's Totem of Evil, evil and it, it basically, what it does is the poison is, uh, if you're battling an opponent, let's say this guy, you attack him, or you uh, you would have this, then it'll just take 200 attack off the thing. I'm gonna put the symbol somewhere else, uh, so this is, that's why this is the only card of that. But anyways, this is number 29, it's a common. 100 attack and 1,000 defense. Monks have banned praying uh, to this totem. So yeah, you've seen that that totem. Here are the other totems that uh, that go along with this. This is kind of it's kind of an archetype, but there's not really any card that is uh, ability that helps them. So it's just they don't even help each other. They're just totems. <laughs> All right, the next card is Ultimate Gunsmith. It's a four cost with one, uh, 2,600 attack and 1,900 uh, defense. It's a rare, it's number 26, and it reads, this is one of a few who fight with guns, because not many fight with guns. As you can see there, he has a robot arm because I guess it got cut off in battle. <coughs> this is your boy speaking, and suddenly I accidentally deleted card is Gem Spear Dragon, and you will now see the card. This is the other Hyper Rare. So you've seen a Gem Spear Guard. So Gem Spear is going to be an archetype. So yes, yeah, so you see Gem Spear Guard right here. That's that. And this is Gem Spear Dragon, and it reads, uh, this card is not affected by abilities or effects. So that means basically, if you use Army of 100, which is the other Hyper Rare, uh, oops, let's see, uh, which reads, send all cards on the field to the graveyard, this card would not be affected by that, so it would stay on the field. So that's why this card is a Hyper Rare. It has less attack than this rare guy right here, but it has, it makes up in the effect. It's number 32. Uh, has 2,500 attack and 2,000 defense, so it is a pretty strong creature. Also, there's one other thing I have to talk about uh, when it comes to the Gem Spear. The, your, their arch nemesis are the Dark Spear. So you've seen the Dark Spear Dragon before. This is the, the Gem Spear Dragon. 
So, you can tell the similarities right here. That they have like uh, crystals on them, and this one also has a crystal. Except for their crystal, the dark spears have lighter crystals, and the gem spear have darker crystals. Which, it kind of, it's kind of weird, because like it's opposites, but yes. So anyways, that's this video. Here are the five cards. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. And I'll see you guys next time.